Welcome back. It's the tail end of our show, which means it's time for our tail end segment of the week. This week, an uplifting story on how kids with physical, mental, and emotional challenges are finding strength and independence through the power of the horse. So how are you feeling? Hi. Yeah, good. And how is this hand doing? Let me see. Let me see what this hand is doing. It's doing fine. At the early age of 10, Jordan McCain has already been through a lot in life. Jordan is battling a rare disease called methylmalonic acidemia. Two years ago, this disease, where the body cannot properly process protein, caused Jordan to suffer a stroke. Jordan, you're doing really well. Look how straight you're walking. You walk much faster than I do. Even though life for Jordan may be centered around constant care from the people around her, once a week, her session at Chesapeake Therapeutic Riding gives her a taste of independence and confidence when she gets to mount her favorite horse socks. I think it's improved her posture. I think it's improved her attitude tremendously. She is doing, getting much more benefit from her regular physical therapy because of the positive experiences she's had with riding than she had before. She's walking further. She's pushing herself harder than she was before, which is saying a lot for Jordan because she pushes herself very, very hard. Fast walk on. Therapeutic riding allows a patient to interact with a horse, to have another creature that is warm and supportive because it's a very carefully trained animal to help them with their posture and succeed and it's not that they're doing something that a person's making them do they're actually having a chance to have fun and success they improve their posture and that carries on beyond riding and also that warmth in the relationship with an animal carries out to interactions with humans for kathy schmidt who started the chesapeake therapeutic riding program watching these children's experiences in her program gives her life a sense of joy and purpose to watch one of our riders rise up out of their wheelchair and walk from the door of the barn to the mounting block with assistance, but with complete power. And to be able to ride her horse during a 45 minute lesson, and then at the end of the lesson, she's still smiling, and you bring her off the horse, and she gets back in her chair, and off she goes. A longtime horse lover, Kathy heard about therapeutic riding and decided to explore the idea of using the magic of horses as a way to help children facing a disability. I always wanted to be able to use my horse and have other people enjoy the healing power that she has given me over these last 19 years. I wanted to be able to share that with other people and therapeutic riding has been my way of doing that. And when you look into the eyes of one of these 1,000 pound animals, they seem to sense that they have an important job to do. It's amazing. Horses are so intuitive. I think we forget that large animals can be very tuned in to their surroundings, including the people in those surroundings. And what I have seen in just this short time and working in a th therapeutic riding environment is that the horse tends to focus in right on the child from the start. They realize that there may be an aspect of that child's life that is a challenge right now and the horse seems to know what it is. It's a lot of fun for her, which she, she has a lot of suffering in her life with the injections and, and uh, constant accessing at the hospital. She has a port in her chest where they do IVs right in, in her chest. So she goes through a lot of suffering and, and pain with the disease and it's nice that she gets to have, do something that's fun and beneficial for her health. I like how much fun it is to ride them. When they see those children and they intuitively know that they're a little bit different maybe from you and I and they respond to them by dipping their head down and nuzzling the child in the front of the shirt because they're reaching out to that child. They want to bond with that child and they want that child to feel safe. I realized that I now have my life's work. I no longer have a job. I have my life's work. And that's what I will do the rest of my life. It truly makes you appreciate the power of the horse when it comes to changing lives. Now, if you'd like more information about this segment, or if you'd like to find a certified therapeutic riding center near you, log on to our show's website, yourlifetv.com.